Hello there, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to see how we can display columns dynamically using a slicer in a matrix or a simple table in Power BI. So first of all, we will go on to our data view. And this is the table which we will be using for that purpose. This is a simple orders table. And on the basis of the row ID, I will bifurcate it. So let's move on to transform data. So I will click on transform data over here. And I will select the orders table. So the table has already been selected. Now what I have to do is, I will select the column row ID. I will go to transform and then I will unpivot other columns. So I will choose this option. And then what will happen is, for every row header, whatever value would be there, for a particular row ID that is being displayed over here and the uh, the level of the data is on the basis of the row ID only. So for every row ID, for every column header, the value are, values are, are displayed over here. So now how it functions. So let me just close and apply this so that it can get reflected in Power BI. So the changes are getting loaded. Okay, so the changes have been loaded here. Okay, so this is our table and we are having only three columns over there. The row ID, attribute and value. Attribute basically means the column header which was there and value consists of the values which were in those columns for a particular row ID. Okay, so this is how it functions unpivoting other columns based on the row ID. So let me rename this to column headers. It will be me say. Okay, so it has been renamed as of now. Now what we want to do is we'll just import all these things in a simple matrix. the orders table I will put all the row ID in rows and then in values I will put all the values and make sure that first is selected for this and uh, always remember that this will only work when you will have distinct row ID uh, in your data set. For example, a particular row ID is not getting repeated more than once. In only that case, it will function properly. And we can also add the column headers in columns. So it will directly give us the entire table which, were the, which was there initially. So it can be seen, we can see here, this is the table which we were having initially. And the entire table has just been converted into these three columns only. So let me just turn off the column subtotal and the row subtotal. So it has been turned off. And now let me introduce a filter or a slicer over here. So I will add the slicer. And in the slicer, I will add column headers. Okay, so from here, I can select whatever column I want to display in the table. As you can see, if I'm selecting city, I'm only getting the city column. And if I, I also want customer ID, so I will get the customer ID, the customer name, customer segment. Like this, I can play with whatever I want in the data set. And in this way, the table which we are having, the matrix or a simple table, we have just made the table dynamic by adding this column header slice. So we can use the slicer to dynamically manipulate the table or the matrix in order 
to achieve whatever target what you want to display in the table i hope you have understood how to display columns dynamically using a slicer in power bi thank you very much for watching the video